Hello and welcome to IGCSC Success. And if you're new here, a big hello to you. I'm an English teacher and I post content here on YouTube to prepare students for their Cambridge first language English exam. And if that's what you're looking for, be sure to check out my previous videos where I break down a number of core skills needed to succeed with first language English. Now, before I start my next series of videos looking at non-fiction writing specifically for the directive writing question, I just thought I'd hop on here and address a perennial problem that my students face, no doubt students around the world face, and I say students, um, adults, native English speakers, celebrities are all guilty of today's subject matter and that is comma splicing. Now admittedly if you've liked this channel for a while and you've been watching my videos I have done a video, a previous video on how to use semicolons. I did briefly address comma splicing but it was a little bit low rent, so I'm doing it again. Now, although comma splicing seems somewhat ubiquitous, particularly when dealing with more informal text types, remember it's still very much frowned upon when we are dealing with academic English. Cambridge and no doubt all other exam boards around the world expect you to use standard English. And well, the misuse of commas is a big no-no. So let's get on with today's video and look at what a comma splice error is and how we can fix such errors. Now let's start by looking at three sentences. The first sentence is, the beach is beautiful, I could visit every day. Now the second sentence is, the students studied hard they all passed with flying colours. And the last sentence is, the test was very difficult. It contained a number of challenging questions. Now, what did you notice about all three sentences? And of course, in all three sentences, commas were used incorrectly. And this essentially is what we mean by a comma splice error. Put simply, a comma splice is when a comma is used to separate two independent clauses. In other words, two complete thoughts, which could stand alone as separate sentences if they wanted to. Again, you must try and avoid making such errors, particularly with those questions where marks are allocated to writing, and particularly if you are doing the coursework component. Which leads me on to the most important part of this short video, and that is how do you avoid or how do you fix comma splices? Well, there are a number of ways actually, but I'm going to show you the three main ways to fix a comma splice error. Now, if you want to show a close relationship between two clauses, the sensible option would be to use a semicolon. And we all know that Cambridge really do love students who can use semicolons correctly. So taking my previous example, the beach is beautiful, semicolon, I could visit every day. You could simply just have two separate sentences such as the students studied hard, full stop, they all passed with flying colours. And lastly, you could opt to use some sort of coordinating conjunction. So for example, the test was incredibly difficult because it contained a number of challenging questions. And there you have it guys, three easy ways to fix comma splice errors. Until next time, bye bye.